What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the glitchiest way to make stubs in MLB The Show 22, no money spent. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on. They are free and they help the channel out tremendously. Also, make sure your notifications is on for whenever I go live two to three times a week. We did two giveaways a few days ago, live on stream. Let's get into today's breakdown. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code FATDOLLARS for a deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. All you gotta do is come in here, make $1 bets, $2 bets, $3 bets, it don't matter. Choose your players, come over to the right, put the amount in, $1 bet, you have a chance to win $3 back. I will be giving you guys free picks, follow me on my Twitter, and I will give you a Discord link, and let's have some fun. All right, so how to use the market in MLB The Show 22. Okay, so you have a few different ways. You have investments, and then you have flipping on the market. Okay, so I prefer later on in the year after the first month to do investments but earlier in the year in that first two to three weeks that's when i would like to do a lot of flipping so as far as flipping goes you want to try to find cards 20,000 stubs and below so the reason why you would try to be under 20,000 stubs is for the text that comes off okay so when you are investing in cards a gold going up to diamond, you can quick sell and not have a tax hit. When you are flipping on the market, there's gonna be a tax. So I like to have between a 2,800 to a 3,000 stub gap for when they take taxes off. So right here, this is 17,135. I would like for this to be about 17,500 or 17,700. So then I will have close to a 3,000 gap in there. Meaning that after you make the transaction, you're going to buy the car for 14,706. And then you're going to try to sell it back where you can make at least a 14 to 1500 profit after taxes. This one right here is the perfect card. This 92 overall Matt Carpenter is a 3,000 gap. Okay, so you're gonna lose 1,600 off, but you're still gonna have about a 1,400 profit after you make this transaction. Okay, so if you were to flip four or five of these, you will easily make seven to 8,000 stubs in a little over three or four minutes. So if you had 16,000 to start off, or usually when I wanna flip, I wanna start off with about 75,000 stubs, so then I can go put four of these orders in, and then go in the market, flip them. I can get three or four of them to sell, get some stubs back, and then I will go to the next car and flip those ones. So this right here, Matt Carpenter is a perfect example, and you're gonna find always four or five different cars that you can do, and in about 15 to 20 minutes on the market, you can make 20 to 25,000 stubs. Now, another way is investments. This is my number one stub method. So if you look at a car like 84 overall, Wander Franco, he's going for 1,000 691 stubs he's not a 85 overall yet so right before the roster update you can go in and then if you click on buy sell you can look on the right hand side and look at all the orders people got in they have the uh, owned on the left and the sellable on the right I like to look in between the gaps and see a number that's not up there. So at the top we have 1691, 1690, and then 1688. So I would turn around and put 1689 in, five orders, 10 orders, 15 orders, however many you want. Okay? So once he goes diamond, at the minimum, you're going to be able to quick sell him for 3,000 stubs. Okay? Some 85 overalls is going to be more 3,600. 3700 you never know but at the minimum you're going to be able to quick sell him for 3000 stubs so if you are investing into this car for a little over 1500 you're going to be making about a 1400 profit so if you have 15 of them 15 times 1400 stubs you do the math on it that's one investment and then if you have nine or ten investments which if you were in the stream i gave you guys a breakdown of the best cards that have the most potential to go up 
And if you subscribe to this channel, you're going to be getting weekly updates. So that's an example of why it's important to catch cards while they are low, $16.91. Now, if you pay attention, the rest of this week, by Friday, the same card, Wander Franco, is 1,940. He will be up about 23 to 2,400 stubs. Right before the roster update, he should shoot up to 27, 2,800 or more. Okay, so that's another way to do it. And you can do that with any card, whether it's silver, looking to go to gold, gold, looking to go to diamond. It don't matter. It's the same exact concept now the third and the easiest way that a lot of y'all know is just playing the game anything that they put in the game free programs as far as spring cleanup other programs with your big dog your may monthly your april monthly awards cover athletes make sure that you spend the time and take advantage of everything free in the game conquest and all that because you can get every single car and collection done without having to play online you can do all this, no money spent. And you don't have to spend five to six hours a day, just two hours here, two hours there, and you will have a B squad, a lot of stubs, and you will be making even more stubs if you are subscribed to the channel, following my investment tips and everything that I give you guys. So I'm gonna be on stream tomorrow, so make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, Turn your notifications on. Follow me on social media. The link is in the description when I go live and I will be breaking down more investments that I have. I'm up to about 12 investments. Next roster update, I can make anywhere from 325 to 500,000 stubs. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Let's go.